Hello again. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd do a video. I've had to um, make a, a slight change to my system. I've had to change the cartridge that I use uh, on uh, on my turntable that's connected to my tone arm. Um, for uh, quite a while now, I've been using this cartridge here. It's um, it's made by Naga Oka. It's the MP11 Boron. So I bought this cartridge ooh, quite some quite uh, some time ago now, and um, it's been connected to my tone arm uh, a couple of times during the time I've had it. I have swapped it out for other ones at on times, but uh, I've tended to always go back to this. This has been a particular favourite of mine. Uh, I really, really been really really pleased with this cartridge it's been really very very uh, nice in my system um, the tone that it produces it, it seems to be very uh, rich warm sounding tone and just so nice to listen to uh, and the reason why it's not on my turntable uh, at the moment is because I believe the stylus is in need of of replacement after uh, all these years of of owning it and uh, using it in my system so uh, i've had to take this off my tone arm for now and uh, i have some options um they no longer make the mp11 boron uh the nagaoka range of cartridges have been i uh, know the well the entry level is the uh, I believe it might be the MP110 and then <clears throat> uh, you go to the MP150 and um, then uh, the MP200 is where the boron cantilevers uh, start to be introduced and that's got that's an MP11 boron so that's got a boron cantilever on it so the option I've got at some point is to uh, replace the stylus uh, on uh, that cartridge and um, I could get the Nagaoka JNP200 which is the uh, replacement uh, stylus and cantilever for the current version, the current MP200 model and I believe the JNP200 will fit that. So uh, that's something that uh, at some point I will be doing because I've been very fond of, have, of, of having that cartridge in my system. I bought it used so uh, I wasn't really sure how many hours it had done when, um, when I first had the cartridge. Uh, but on sort of close inspection of the stylus and using my ears to listen to records, um, using some test records that uh, I, I, I tend to use for, for reference and it, it sounded really, really good. And uh, But ever so, you know, it's happened quite quickly uh, that uh, I do believe that uh, the cartridge is now or the stylus then is showing some signs of wear. So what I did yesterday, I, I took the cartridge off my tone arm and um, luckily I've got a, a different cartridge that I can use. Uh, one again that I bought used, but um, I, I bought it from someone that explained to me that they'd had very, very low hours, uh, that they weren't using it. And um, so I'm very, very fortunate then to get this as a, as a, at a good price. It, this is a, a Denon DL110 uh, high output moving coil cartridge. There you are. And I've already got it installed onto my turntable. Uh, it was quite late last night, so using a, a suitable alignment protractor uh, using a, uh, a scales as well to to weigh the 
uh, the, the downforce of the uh, cartridge. I've managed to adjust everything so that it's within the tolerances that uh, is specified by the manufacturer of the cartridge and um, using also some test records that uh, I like to use. This is one I've had for quite some time. This is uh, uh, how to give yourself a stereo checkout. It's on the, the DECA label. Uh, I really enjoy using that. And I also have had this in my system for quite some years as well. This is the Hi-Fi News Analog Test LP. And there's um, some quite really interesting sort of test tracks on here, which I tend to use, you know, as a kind of a, a reference point just to, to test the, um, the, 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 the tracking ability and the setup then of the of the cartridge. So I've had a bit of time to do that. And uh, today at some point I'll be doing some more um, listening uh, using some familiar records that uh, I've uh, that that uh, uh, that I have in my collection. So yeah, so I mean the differences between the two are uh, the, the, the Nagaoka MP11 Boron. It's got the, the Boron cantilever and um, the, the tracking ability of this cartridge has been absolutely superb. Um, I mean, and I would say also that, I mean, last, I can't remember when I had it done now, but it's certainly during sort of like the, I'll have to check on my videos, but, uh, oh, about 12 months, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, one of the most recent upgrades I've had on my system is that uh, I've had the the uh, Valhalla internal power supply that came with my Linsonic LP12. I had that replaced. It had been in my system for oh, approximately 30 years, around about that. And uh, I've had it replaced with an external power supply. Uh, it's a Heed Orbit 1 power supply. Very interesting to, to, to establish that one of the observations I've made then since having the Heed Orbit 1 external power supply uh, installed is that the, the tracking ability of cartridges appear to be a lot better. It's uh, just something that I've noticed as well. Uh, so the MP Nagaoka MP11 Boron, it's a, a moving iron or moving permalloy cartridge. You have moving magnet cartridges, uh, you have um, moving coil cartridges, uh, but uh, that is uh, known as a moving iron, moving permalloy cartridge. Uh, the Denon DL110 is a moving coil cartridge. Uh, you've got low output moving coil cartridges and you've got high output moving coil cartridges. This is a high output moving coil cartridge and um, it is um, a cartridge that is suitable for my uh, moving magnet phono stage. So it will work in my system um, going through where my system is all connected to my uh, moving magnet phono stage that I I use uh, the well to just refer to some notes that I've got here because I'll never remember that the stylus tip sizes uh, the Naga Oka stylus tip is an elliptical tip and uh, it uh, measures at not point three by 0.7 mil, whereas the Denon DL110 is uh, a special elliptical measuring at 0.1 by 0.2 mil. So, yeah, so I'm gonna give that a go. I can say I, I bought it some time ago used and um, 
on the inspection and on the tests that I've done so far, it's in really, really good condition. Um, lower was uh, cartridge and uh, yes, so uh, quite interested to see how that goes and how that compares to um, the Naga, uh, Nagaoka MP Lem Boron. So yeah, just thought I'd do a, a quick update just uh, to show what uh, recent change I've, I've, I've had to make to my system. So again, thanks uh, for watching the video. Bye-bye.